Hello, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, August 16th, 2013. There has been a series of strong earthquakes in New Zealand today. They struck in the afternoon about 2.30 p.m. New Zealand time. Uh, the uh, biggest quake was measured initially at a 6.8 by the U.S. Geological Survey. That was knocked down to about 6.5. Uh, it struck at the northern tip of New Zealand's South Island. It was a dangerously shallow quake of about five miles, similar to the same depth that uh, caused so much damage on the South Island city of Christchurch two years ago. There were at least six aftershocks with a uh, magnitude of 5.0 or stronger, so this was a pretty big deal. Fortunately, they dodged a bullet. Uh, a number of homes near the epicenter were severely damaged. Uh, a highway bridge was severely damaged near the town of Sidon, and the police closed the uh, road on the bridge and vaulted the roads underneath it. Um, some buildings in Wellington were evacuated, and a number of elevators and office buildings had stopped working, causing people to be evacuated from them. Air, rail, and bus services were suspended while officials checked tracks, runways, and roads, and trading on the New Zealand Stock Exchange was halted temporarily. There were also widespread power outages across the northern part of the South Island. However, there does not seem to be any loss of life, and things seem to be back to normal, so very fortunate indeed. In Egypt today, this is Friday, this is the day that Muslims go to the mosque, and uh, it's also another day of rage. The Muslim Brotherhood is out protesting in the streets. At least 12 Egyptians have been killed already today as they protest against the military coup. Um, eight protesters have been killed in the city of Damietta, and four more have been killed in uh, a suburb northeast of Cairo. Interestingly, yesterday afternoon, there was a large explosion that killed at least 22 people and injured about 400 other people. This was at a uh, facility uh, used by Hezbollah uh, in the southern Beirut suburbs of Lebanon. Southern Beirut is a uh, Hezbollah stronghold, as is all of southern Lebanon. Um, shortly after the attack, a video belonging apparently to a Sunni group uh, was made public saying that we send a message to Hassan Nasrallah, who is the head of the Shia Hezbollah, saying that uh, his continued support of the Sunni um, Assad in Syria is going to continue to cause problems. Uh, so it seems now as if serious conflict has spilled over into Lebanon. Uh, Hezbollah has been fighting with the uh, Syrian president on his side against the Syrian insurgents. Uh, so what has happened now is that the Sunnis in Lebanon and elsewhere have also joined forces with anybody who doesn't like Hezbollah. Um, and uh, it seems that Mr. Nasrallah is now fighting a two-front war. That Airbus 300 that came down uh, short of the runway in Birmingham, Alabama the other day apparently uh, has not been found to have had any initial difficulties mechanically or with the engine. This is according to federal investigators. Uh, they have identified the uh, two crew members. They were both longtime employees of UPS. Uh, the black boxes have in fact now been retrieved from the uh, smoldering tail section. The FAA said they were blackened and sooted. However, we are cautiously optimistic that we will be able to obtain good data. Interestingly enough, the uh, 7,000 foot long runway that the plane was attempting to land on is the only one that's open there. The 12,000 foot runway adjacent to it has been shut down for repair work uh, at the time of the crash. So if you were coming into the 7,000 foot runway, pilots were forced to navigate over a large hill to reach it. What happened is the plane clipped trees in a neighborhood before plummeting into the ground. There's a tropical storm moving around. It's uh, about uh, 430 miles west of the Cape Verde Islands off Africa. This would be Tropical Storm Aaron. It has maximum sustained winds right now of about 40 miles per hour. It's uh, expected to slowly strengthen over the next few days. It begins to make its way continued westward. Um, remember the uh, forecast from earlier this week, more hurricanes coming, maybe this is one. Workers at the world's largest copper mine in northern Chile have gone out on strike. The work stoppage at the Escondida mine, uh, which is majority owned by RHP Billiton of Australia, have now been on strike for about 48 hours. 
Um, Chile is the world's largest copper producer and this is the world's largest copper mine, so this could affect commodity prices. Well, at the, Hong, at the Shanghai uh, Stock Exchange earlier today, it was a typical Friday morning, it seems. Traders uh, trading along. The index is not moving particularly uh, up or down in any meaningful manner. Then just about an hour before uh, lunch, volume surged and China's benchmark stock index, the Hang Seng, jumped by 6% in just two and a half minutes. And analysts were stunned. The answers were not forthcoming. Uh, apparently, a theory is emerging that the sudden spike was related to a problem at a brokerage called Everbright Securities. Everbright issued a statement saying, We encountered a problem when using our own arbitrage system. We're investigating now, and our other businesses continue as usual. So no concrete link was established, but why else would they say anything? One observer says, I can't remember anything like this happening in the Chinese stock market. I can't even think of anything like this happening in Hong Kong. The analyst continued saying there are no economic events in Asia today that could have moved the markets like this. It's a system mistake, pure and simple. When traders came back after lunch, the stock index had reversed its course and uh, they continued on as normal. And by the end of the day, the Hang, Hang Seng closed down six tenths of one percent. Why should Shanghai be immune? The New York Stock Exchange has had these flash spikes several times. Once again, who's trading your money? Computers playing with algorithms, dealing in milliseconds. Anything can happen. That's the news for today. Have a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday.